G'day, Hayden here from Pacific Toyota. Just here to run over this Mitsubishi Pajero with you. Look a bit before I do so, a bit about us, Pacific Toyota. We run two large pre-owned vehicle yards here in Cairns. Um, this one being my main location, head office at 235 Mulgrave Road. Um, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of stock. We stock anywhere between that 175 to 200 cars at any one time. Um, and we sell very similar numbers. Up across the road, we do have our new vehicle showroom, Plexus a can showroom, as well as that just to the right where the solar panels are, you've also got our service center. Look, the Vertra 2 is basically designed to go around the car in complete detail. It's basically designed to represent the car as if you're looking at it in person. So any bumps, bruises, or marks, I'm gonna point them out to you. Look, if there's anything that's a deal breaker to you, let me know, there are solutions. Uh, but look, I'm gonna jump straight into it and start with the front bumper and work my way around. Um, so it's a nice crystal pearl paint. Um, so there's a couple little chip marks here and there. Nothing too major, pretty standard. Um, anything on the country roads, you're always gonna get the odd rock chip here and there. Um, but this one's actually quite good. It's one of the better ones that I've seen. So that's a real credit to the previous owners. Um, they certainly looked after it. Just coming up now, another spot for uh, rock chips is on the sort of the lip of the bonnet, but this thing is pretty immaculate. So once again, that's always a big benefit. Um, so that's nice through there. Uh, it's going to continue around to the base of the A pillar and down. Um, see all the nice straight lines for the bonnet and that. That's what you want. Through there. Tyres itself, they're pretty much brand new. Um, you can still see the little knobbly bits on it. So nothing better than having brand new tyres on a car. You don't have to put a set of tyres on it when you get it. Um, as you can see, drivetrain's all very clean. So it looks like this one's been a bit of a highway warrior, uh, more so than an off-roader. Probably a city SUV, not 100% sure, but going by that, looks like it. Uh, no gutter rash on the rims, uh, that's, a, that's a winner. Uh, continuing down, if I don't zoom in, it's because I can't see a mark or fault it. Although there is a bit of, um, looks like it's just slight discoloration. That's actually supposed to be a chrome strip. So um, underneath you can see the shiny part, but yeah, just wanted to show that to you. Uh, it's pretty common on these, they happen all the time. So um, it's just continued with this one as well. Uh, continuing down, once again, car's immaculate paint-wise. I can't really fault it, um, which is good. Good for you guys. A uh, little bit of a mark here. Now I'm getting real picky. It's very small, as you can see, compared to the size of my finger. Um, yeah, very minor mark. See the roof line there. It's got the sunroof up there as well. Okay, just to the interior of the vehicle. It's obviously the door cards. This is the main traffic area, so. Usually if you've got rings on, you'll get a couple of marks through here, uh, but this one's pretty good. So once again, the owners have certainly taken care of it. Um, dash mat inside as well. That's also how you know you've got good people looking after cars, dash mats, genuine floor mats, stuff like that. Um, it's all very good through there. Leather seats, all very nice. And you've got the, those rubber floor mats as well. So, um, so that's all good through there. Onto the rear of the vehicle as well. Um, so just coming through, once again, standard for rings and stuff to give you those odd little marks here and there, but this one's pretty good. So uh, back of the seats, all nice. Got your aircon controls behind there as well. Once again, genuine rubber mat all the way through. Um, and to be honest, it looks like the rear seats have barely ever been used. So. Um, those things are immaculate, so that's good. Perfect. Um, let's come to the back of the vehicle. I'm just going to stand back to give you that general styling. Um, obviously, you've got a Bajero already, so you, you're sort of um, all over the, the Bajero side of things, but being the later model, it's got that nice style to it. A um, couple of little chips through here. Your back bumper is your main part where you're going to get most marks. I'll open the door, it's a bit easier um, to see. Um, yeah, that mat just needs to be cut properly so it fits in, but it does have a genuine floor mat in there. Um, I will show you underneath it, but back to the bumper. Um, from stuff going in and out, as you can see, a couple of marks through there. Um, it's just from stuff coming in and out of the boot, or stuff, that one looks like something's tried to shut the boot on it. Um, tow bar as well there with the uh, seven pin flat plug. I'll just quickly take these out. They're the headrests for the um, seats that are underneath the floor. Um, so I'll just take that out there. I always like to show underneath the carpet mat. Um, so that's all out that there. The seats itself come up. It's a bit hard with one hand, but um, basically just like so. 
and then there's a little lever here that you'll press and it will come up. Oop, sorry, I need two hands for a second. Oop. And then this one here. There we go. So then you've got the rear seats like so. No tears, bumps or bruises there, so that's good. Um, I'll just put them back down. So sorry, I've got to use two hands again. Just like so. And that just lifts up like that. I can get it. <laughs> there we go. And down. Rightio. Like I said, two hands is definitely a job for this. A uh, bit, bit hard to do it with one, but we got there in the end. A um, couple of little marks on the inside here. That's pretty standard as well. You know, if you're traveling, you got stuff resting up the side. It doesn't take much to start wearing, so. Um, back door as well. A couple of little scratches, nothing major. It's also where your tools live for the, for the jack and that, so. Not very good through there. Uh, spare tire looks brand new as well. So that's, once again, another bonus. And a couple of little marks on that little cover there as well. Um, okay. So just gonna continue around the, the panel work on the vehicle. Like I said, I can't really fault it. The car's got, other than the odd mark here and there, it's it's immaculate. So, um, yeah, good on the previous owners. They certainly looked after it. Now, our rear tyres aren't brand new. Looks like there's about 40% remaining, maybe 30%, but um, still plenty of tread there. Um, just continuing down, a couple of marks, one just here. And like I said, if that's a concern to you, let me know. There are solutions for it. A um, couple of marks just there. And just bringing us back to the front guard there, the base of the A-pillar on the other side. Once again, brand new tyres, so fronts are good. Um, I'll just do the rear door card on this side. And then we'll jump in the driver's seat. So this one here, once again, Mitsubishi's a brown hound for it. A little bit of discoloration through here. Um, yeah, you'll see that, that's pretty common. Okay. Main driver's side, so it's a bit hard to drive the car without coming through this door. So you're obviously usually going to have the most marks through here. Um, but once again, other than these little ones here, things immaculate, so that's good. Always a credit to the previous owner. Uh, a bit of wear through here. Um, obviously getting in and out with the leather, um, but still fully intact. It's not torn or anything like that. It's just a little bit worn. Um, before I do the interior, I'll just go underneath the bonnet. Um, I always like looking under here. This usually tells you if it's a serious off-roader or not. Um, oh no, things, things clean, it's immaculate. Um, it's always those deeper areas um, you can't see dirt in, uh, which is good. The places where the gurneys can't get to. So this sort of tells me it's more of a, a city SUV of anything. So that's good. I'll just jump on in, turn it on. Okay, so obviously being the Exceed model, it's got the wood grain top on it and the wood grain bottom. Cruise control, Bluetooth, the controls for the Rockford system in here. We saw the subwoofer in the back and the extra speakers in the rear doors. Uh, we've got 102,991 on the clock. Um, next service is due at 110,000. So you've still got 7,000 Ks before you're needing that. Um, got the nice screen in the middle. Also works with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And you've also got your reversing camera there. You can see the mats that I <laughs> from the boot that I, I put out. Um, climate control system through there, seat heaters, and then you've got all your gear selectors. Service history on the vehicle. Um, I'll just check it out. Okay. Just want to check something. So yeah, the car comes from it looks like just south of Townsville. Um, servicing was done through Pickerings in Townsville, then in Mackay at 16,000, North Jackland again at Mackay at 31, 47, 59, 76. Um, then we've got another one done at uh, 88 and 99,000. So full logbook service history, all stamped by the dealers there. So who's done them? So yeah, always good to have good uh, service history. Uh, two keys for the vehicle as well. It's always a bonus. I know when I bought mine, it only had one key, so I um, already got one up there of me. Um, look, that sort of concludes the virtual tour for today. Any questions, queries, or concerns, please let me know. Um, but all around, brilliant vehicle, brilliant condition. Thank you.